Hey guys, uh, first I want to apologize. I need to uh, go through and reset everything up because I was doing a little testing before we started, and yeah. So, we're going to delete all these characters and we'll have to reset our camp too. But, uh, go ahead and get started here. Now, I don't worry too much about the, the customization on the characters. I do like to give them different clothes, but other than that, they have the same face, same body, all that jazz. So, uh, the names have to be different. I tried to do them all the same once. It doesn't like that. It's not okay. This is a pretty, uh, pretty cool zombie outbreak or zombie survival game I found. Um, I didn't think I'd like it when I first got it because the way the camp's set up, but um, I didn't. Uh, okay, that'll still work. We were still at the beginning. I never actually move the phase or anything we didn't do anything in the camp so not a problem um, one thing I always do do before I go out is um, I don't use the improvised weaponry so I always at least throw it in my storage there and let's get started here um, at least to start out I prefer going to uh, the locations down here you can go to the territory but then you don't find as much because you've got a lot more running around to do these are actually either in town or I think the skyway is like on a highway but um let's go ahead and get started Now, uh, what phase you're in in the camp determines what time of day you start um, start your deployment, start searching for for resources and everything. So, I do recommend always starting your deployments in the morning because you do have a limited amount of time out in the field. You guys don't need to see all the frame rate and everything. Like I said, we were doing some tests before we got started to see what we could do and. Uh, had that left up there so biggest thing on this is you want to pick up everything you can find hopefully we'll find a backpack early on makes it a lot easier because right now our character can carry very little um, always keep your weapon handy if you're only using blunt weapon like me then it's uh, number four on the keyboard to, to put it in your hand on some vitamins those might come in handy and these here these are your like resource boxes or what you use to help build up the camp always want to get those if you you get a full inventory and you go to start getting rid of stuff I don't recommend ever getting rid of those unless you're just full on one and it's not what you were looking for so the materials stack up to 20 I think, or at least is what it used to be. It's been quite a while since I've played this, and they are still in active development. Pretty good game for being one that's still in development. Ah. She got me. Ooh, heard something over there. We probably got a Zed that way. We'll check on our way around. I have played this so much, like I said, I'm sure they've changed some stuff, but for the most part I know where they tend to 
hard stuff. Um, and if we run into any bosses, at least until we get some weapons and stuff, we will avoid them at all cost. The great thing about the bosses is they can be quite a ways away and you'll hear them before you see them. So, except for the crawlers, they can be pretty quiet. They're kind of a pain too, but they generally can't move as fast, so that's always good. One of the things I like too, but it's kind of unrealistic, is if you notice when they're coming at me, they move a lot faster. And then when they slow down, that's when you want to start swinging. That's when they're in range and you can actually hit them. I have full inventory already. Like I said, hopefully we pick up a backpack. I won't worry about uh, general aid supplies. Like the vitamins, the weapons, ammo. Um, if you do pick it up, you can dismantle it, which now you uh, have to repair your weapons. It's something they did in an update not too long ago. So I do recommend clicking dismantle instead of just dropping it. Because you have, well I guess that doesn't give you any parts. They're changing stuff, so it's going to be a learning experience for both of us. I do know quite a bit of it, but... Hopefully we can find some more wood or some metal. Those are the two important ones when it comes to building your camp, which is going to be what we're going to be focused on for the most part. Ah! What were you doing hiding back there? It's not okay. kind of built a search pattern, at least for this map. The Skyway is kind of, well, Skyway is very difficult. It's much more zombies and much less loot, so to speak. As you notice, it's getting lighter. Like I said, it's one of the things that's kind of cool about this game is when you're out running, running, scavenging, you only have so much time. Once it starts getting dark again, you don't want to be here. I do have my co-host here with me today. He's a uh, been kind of quiet over there. Uh, he's keeping an eye on the stream info to make sure everything's going good. So, if we got any visitors on there, feel free to jump into chat. Be careful about running. You do have a stamina bar down there. Usually I don't run as much, but walking's a lot slower, so I'm just watching my stamina. If I get too close, we'll slow down for a minute. I like to get three or four scavenging missions done for this stream, but if you use the whole time, it does take, I think it's about 15, maybe 30 minutes that you get before it starts getting dark again.
bus stops usually have stuff. Make it back to the base with that we can. Um, since it's not since it's not green or purple or anything, we won't worry about it too much if we do have to dismantle it. Usually I don't keep white weapons until but until we get full weapons, you know, we wanna wanna have them available. I think one of the things we do want to do, drop that one, unload that one, and dismantle that one. That's better, better of a way to use our inventory spot there. Ah! We used to be able to do this all the time without ever freaking getting hit once. I don't know if they've uh, made it a little more difficult than previous updates or what the deal is. Maybe I'm just not as good at it anymore. part of this game is just searching everywhere. Killing them. I mean, I usually don't go looking for a fight, but at the same time, it is good uh, for experience leveling up your characters, so when you do start going to the more difficult spots, it's a little easier. stuff up uh, you do with F or interacting with anything is the F key. Oop, just heard a uh, flare. Sometimes you can see them regardless of where they land, but um, I'm not seeing it yet. When you hear that that distinct thud, usually it's, uh, I don't know who they say is dropping it, but uh, there's random supply drops that are generated. Um, sometimes it'll be just a bunch of weapons, sometimes it'll be food and water, sometimes it'll be weapons, um, they're all color coded and I can't remember what colors are what, I know there's green, red, and blue, I want to say red was the weapons, but I don't remember whether green and blue were Now, I 
there's one of the spawn points when you get to town sometimes we'll spawn on top of that bus I've had one time that uh, I spawned in up there and there was a boss that was already on the ground and well I ended up just going back to camp because I wasn't ready for a boss at that oh there's green where'd it go where'd it go usually you can see them in the air for a little while after they spawn we'll see if we can make it to that one at least that way we'll know what green is I think right now we've got a good enough run unless we can find a backpack if we can get that material spot filled up which like I said they I think they stack 20 high then we'll probably go ahead and call that a day for yep 20 high okay I lied I want to find that green flare and we're getting close there it is check that cop car out. Um, anytime you see a cop car in this game it's usually a good chance to find some weapons which in an, an apocalyptic situation that would probably hold true unless it had already been scavenged. Oh. If that sound was what I thought it was we need to be careful. Oh, green's materials. I forgot they did materials. Food, fabric, food. Uh, since I have a weapon that these will fit in, I wouldn't recommend doing this. And, uh, grr. But materials are so much more handy. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and dismantle our materials, too. Food, fabric, food. Alright, and now that we're full of materials, really no point in continuing this. The main place that I, I always look to find a backpack we've already been through, and I didn't find one, so yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and return to camp. Uh, you want to be careful when you do this. Um, if you're being chased, you don't want to stop before you hit escape to return to the camp because if you're still running when you hit escape, then you will continue running for the 10 second countdown. So, <clears throat> just a good thing to know. Go ahead and skip through all this tutorial. I know what I'm doing here. And now we've got some resources. We'll go see if there's anything we can do for the camp. Camp upgrades. Um, well, why is it not letting me build the farm? There we go, construction. Gotta remember how to do all of this. Always recommend getting the farm early on. Um, if you do have the food resource up here and it does I don't remember exactly how it figures what you use each day but you do use it um looks like what we have materials for right now are quarters, storage and kennels um the kennels come in handy because they help out your uh oh you send out either scouting, hunting, or fortifying missions. And they help on the scouting and the hunting that the dogs do. But they also cost food, so that's kinda... We're gonna go ahead and do the storage right now. Um, then the other thing I like to do every day is I send out a 
either scouting or hunting. We're fine on food for right now, so I'm not going to worry about the hunting. Um, we'll go ahead and do a scouting mission. And choose a squad size of one. We don't have any scout kits available, so we'll go ahead and deploy that. And then, uh, from there, there's not really much else we could do. I mean, we could go out with some of our other survivors. I like to only use one a day, because then if one of them gets injured or something, you see how he's resting for five days, so he won't be available tomorrow. Or five, not five days, five, uh, phases. So, he won't be available again until tomorrow afternoon, so that's why I only use one. Um, so we'll just go ahead and next phase. Uh, they found a new location, and so we could start another task. Don't really care to do that. I know that's what locations were. All right, so we found a picnic area. Primary resource we'll pick up is food. I don't remember how this works exactly, but okay, I don't go. I don't go there. They go themselves. And mission finished, so they're done scavenging that. And now we're ready for morning day two. Um, first thing I always do in the mornings is I go on my scavenger, or on my, I don't know what you want to call it, on my deployment. There we go. Let's just pick my next tune and um, the Skyway until we get some weapons is kind of, and we'll do it. What is life without a little whimsy? Being awfully quiet over there. I'm being ignored. I will say this was just kind of a thrown together live stream here. I'm going to start trying to get better about that now that I know what I'm doing, know all the settings I need and, and all that. Um, we'll get a little better about scheduling them earlier so you guys can know when they are and try to plan plan for them if, if you're interested. And if not, well, thanks for joining us this time at least. But, um, let's go ahead and head on out. Like I said, the Skyway is a lot of zombies. So we're going to be fighting a lot in this one. Ooh. Don't miss her. One of the things I used to do, and I might get back into the habit now, is I used to wait for a minute or two when I spawned to uh, let the sun come up a little bit so I could actually see what I was doing. What the heck, there's a guy up there. I, what, I'm, why is there a guy up there? I just noticed that. I've never found another survivor in the Skyway, but there's a guy up there. Come on. Ah! See, like I said, a lot more Zed down here. Looks like we're already finding another survivor for our camp, so let's 
see if we can get around there to him here. Oh no, crawler. We do not want to have to face her. Ah. Oh no, and she's seen us. That might be the end of this deployment. I don't have the weaponry to, to, to be prepared to take her on. And I've never successfully managed to fight a boss without real weapons. Oh, I didn't get rid of my improvised. Oh, don't fall. Luckily, you know, they're not, not very smart, so that always helps. Really? It had one? Um, God, I don't know what to do. I really don't want that to be the end of the scouting mission. If one of those other Zeds doesn't... We might try it. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh. Ah! Nope, we are getting out of here. Ah, uh, don't run into the car. Ah, oh, crap. We might be dead. Yep, we might be dead. Might be dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was... Yeah, wow. Um. So, that was... A waste of a mission. Like I said, I usually don't don't go into the Skyway until I'm a little more equipped. That was not even fun. All right, I'm just gonna do some character management real quick. Gonna go ahead and pull this gun over. I don't like having two of the same guns on one person, so go ahead and dismantle these. Give him that. Throw the simple ammo over there. And, um, like I said, guys, maybe hopefully next time we do a live stream, we'll be a little more prepared. We will, uh, have it posted a while in advance so you guys will know about it and, and, uh, you know plan on doing it a little longer all that all that fun sort of stuff but as for this time thanks for joining us thanks for liking comment and subscribing remember the day is what you make it let's make it a good one